Immune cells, called regulatory T cells or Tregs, prevent the immune system from attacking the body's own cells, a phenomenon known as autoimmunity. Although immunosuppression by Tregs prevents autoimmunity, it also dampens anti-tumor immunity and favors cancer progression. Tregs suppress immune cells within close proximity by activating latent TGF beta via a mechanism that requires transmembrane proteins GARP and integrin alpha V beta 8. Indeed, TGF beta dimers in an inactive state form bonds with GARP. They comprise a mature part, or mature TGF beta, which is non covalently associated to another part called LAP, which maintains mature TGF beta inactive. Finally, tensile force transmitted by integrin alpha V beta 8 to LAP leads to the release and activation of mature TGF beta. In this study, using X ray crystallography, we first attempted to resolve the three dimensional structure of the assembly made of GARP and TGF beta. As this complex proved recalcitrant to crystallization, we reasoned that the assembly with an antibody might help. We used a fragment of antibody MHG8 because we previously showed that it blocks TGF beta activation and immunosuppression by Tregs and could thus serve for cancer immunotherapy. We managed to solve the crystal structure of GARP TGF beta bound to MHG8. Our structure reveals that GARP resembles a horseshoe that is straddled by TGF beta. GARP exploits an unusual medley of interactions, including the fold complementation by the N terminus of TGF beta to chaperone and orient the cytokine for activation by alpha V beta 8. Furthermore, our results elucidate the mechanism of antibody mediated blockade of TGF beta activation and immunosuppression by Tregs. Indeed, MHG8 appears to glue GARP and TGF beta together, making sure that when other partners pull on one part of the assembly, the active part of TGF beta is not released and is thus prevented from conveying its inhibitory message. Together, these structural and mechanistic insights illustrate the feasibility of blocking TGF beta activity emanating from a precise, restricted cellular source, such as the surface of Tregs. This can lead to the design of specific approaches to treat diseases associated with altered TGF beta or Treg activity, most notably for cancer immunotherapy.